Hello and greetings in the mighty name of King Yeshua HaMashiach, King Yeshua, our beloved Messiah, King Yeshua, our Lord and our Savior, King Yeshua, our Holy Redeemer and the Holy One of Israel. I have a new background, as you can see. Um, Merry Christmas to all. As we celebrate our beloved Savior's earthly um, earthly birth. We don't know what day it is, but we celebrate it on the 25th of December. And um, it's not the day. It's not about what date it falls on. It's about what our lovely, wonderful, mighty Savior did for us. He did everything for us. He didn't have to. He did not have to leave his glory and come down here to be a little baby infant, to be born of a virgin. And how to say this? I never want to insult my God, but he was so tiny you know, a little infant. He, he was born. He was an infant here. That is so hard to believe, but he was. And he gave up everything he had with the glory with the Father to come down here and do that. To the Father made him a body. That says it in Hebrews, I think. Um... Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body has thou prepared for me. That's King Yeshua saying that. He humbled himself. He took on the seed of Abraham. That's what his word says also. To come down here and suffer. To show us how to live in him. For he knew what he was going to do. He knew that he was going to be our redeemer. He knew that he was going to give his life for all of us. All the way back to Adam. He gave his life for every single person that has lived, is living, and will live. And he gave his life He's the only one who can save mankind. He's the only one who can forgive mankind's sins. And when we accept him into our hearts as our Lord and Savior and King over our lives, and we believe in, thine, in our hearts that Father raised him from the dead, we are saved eternally. Father has a message. That's what his message is concerning. Amen and hallelujah to the Father. The Father of lights. The Father of glory. The Father of all things. His message is beautiful. His message is uh, so very serious. His message is Give your cares to God because God cares for you. His message lets us know how much he cares for us. To know his truth. To know his son's truth. His word. His holy word. What his son did for us. And does for us. And will do for us eternally. Amen. Glory and hallelujah. To the one who gives each of us life. He gave us the very breath of life. He created us. He formed us in our mother's womb. Hallelujah. To God, Jehovah Elohim, Adonai. Praise be to his holy, wonderful, and joyous name. Because I have complete joy in my heart for my God. And I know 
who belongs to him has that same joy. Joy that you cannot explain, a joy that the world does not know, and a peace that surpasses all understanding. The world thinks they have peace. You cannot have peace without the Prince of Peace. King Yeshua is the Prince of Peace. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. To King Yeshua HaMashiach. Lord of his saints' hearts, whoever belongs to him, he's Lord of their heart. So here is Father's message. And I'll put the transcript up in the, uh, in the comments. There is a lot of scripture that I prayed about and that um, he wanted me to put up with his message. So it will have much scripture attached to it. So this, um, this message was received December 5th, which was yesterday. And I'm looking at my, my clock and my date because it's after midnight now, so the dates change, but this was December 5th, which was yesterday. Okay. Children of the Most Highest God, this is your Lord God Almighty. Papa will be very frank and very curt with you. Some of you, my saints, try to scare my little ones away how do we scare them away, you say? Papa says, by indulging in the enemy's lies. There is a big deception that has been spreading throughout my perfect son Yeshua's bride. Do not fall for Satan's lie, my children. Once you put your complete life and heart in my son's hands, you are his. Do you not think that God Yahweh cannot tell who is, in, who is sincere? Do you not think that God Yahweh knows this is the most heartfelt decision my children can make on this earth? Father asked you, who amongst you thinks they are perfect enough to say to stay saved from my fierce wrath of hell. I tell you, no one. Children, when you come to my son and you admit you are a wretched sinner, do you think that he only has the power to save you from the sins you have committed in the past and not the future? This is one of Satan's devouring lies that create doubt, not only in my son's bride, but also of my lost. Father says that all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. But I tell you now that my glorious son remembers his children's sins no more, and neither do I, Father God, Yahweh. My son Yeshua, Hamashiach, gave his life for his friends, and he has given you his free gift to whosoever, and this free gift is forever. What part do not you understand when my word says you have eternal life when you allow my son to dwell in your heart? Come to me, saith Father Yahweh Elohim, and I will give you answers. Study to show thyself approved, my children. How big are my hands. Papa Yahweh, God 
Jehovah tells you to not believe what you hear from man, but take it to my son's cross of eternal salvation. Father God Yahweh, the great I am, has spoken these words to my scribe, messenger, and daughter, Wendy Lee. That's Father's message. As he said, it was Frank and Kurt. And I looked up Frank and Kurt. Frank and Kurt. And, and Frank means direct. And Kurt means uh, few words. Getting the point across with few words. So that's what he meant. Um, so anyway, he used my middle name this time. Um, so now you know what my middle name is. I don't know why. God has his reasons. Um, because I asked him, Father, are you sure you want me to put my middle name there? And he said, yes. So, there's my name. Um, so anyway, um, let's go to, okay, there is one thing that the Holy Spirit wants me to address. And it's revolving around a comment that was put up from a beautiful lady. And I don't know if she's watching this. I don't know if she just reads the transcripts. But if she's watching, she was asking me, um, I guess basically, do I uh, have, do I have any bad feelings towards God for taking Donald? I can't remember exactly what she, how she asked it, but I heard the pain in her voice. And God hears you. He knows your pain. He knows your grieving. He knows exactly what you've been through. I, I don't know. Only God knows. I do know what little bit you told me. Um, you actually shared a lot with me when Donald was sick. So I believe you would know who I'm talking about. And bless you, my beautiful sister. And the answer is no, my friend, I do not. God has given me such... I want to say I, I am weak. I am so so very very weak but King Yeshua is his strength is perfected in our weakness and I just love him so much and I know you do too. Draw nigh to him, my friend. Draw nigh, draw nigh, draw nigh, draw nigh. And say to him what's on your mind. He already knows what you're saying, what you're thinking, how you're hurting. He feels your hurt. And he will. Heal your broken heart in his way and in his time.
the Holy Spirit wanted me to mention this. I normally don't do this. Um, but King Yeshua is with you. He is with you. Um, know that. Find scriptures, which I don't know your circumstances. You probably know, you might know his word more, more than I do. But find scriptures that comfort your heart. There are so many in there. And even when you don't feel like it, praise King Yeshua. Praise him with all of your heart. I know it is painful. And I'm not saying that I have not had my moments. I will tell you that there was strength in the Lord, strength that I never knew I had. And He had prepared me in somewhat. You know, in, in God's reasons and God's purposes, if you look back and if you ask him, he, he, he had prepared you in some kind of way. Because he will never give you anything that you cannot endure. When he creates us, in the beginning of time. He knows our timeline. He sees everything that we're going to go through. And he gives us the exact amount of grace. And faith that we're going to need. At that particular time in our life. Things will not ever turn out the way you want them to. And I know you know this. I think we all know this. We have to be blind not to know that. But God always turns it around for our good. Because we who love him, he turns it around for our good, who are called to his purposes and if I'm talking to anyone else that is in grieving turn your whole entire life body soul spirit mind to the king There is a time to grieve. It says it in his word. There's a time to laugh. There's a time to cry. Grieve with those who's, who grieves. Celebrate with those who needs, you know, it's something to that effect. It's in the word somewhere. But it does say um, about the grieving. It's going to be difficult but King Yeshua will get you through it I've had a rocky life and throughout all that he prepared me he, he prepared me for what I have encountered in my life now when you go through things, when, when you hear him telling you to do something and it makes no sense to you, he has a purpose in mind. 
because he knows what's going to come at you in the future. So it won't make sense to you at the time. But then when that time does come, you'll look back and you'll say, he was preparing me for this. I have been prepared for this. Even though you don't know what's going to happen, he has prepared you in his way. Maybe you don't recognize it right now. Maybe the hurt is just too much for you to bear right now. But I tell you, just believe in him that he will get you through this. This most difficult time in someone's life. I won't say that I'm 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 through it because I think we will always have a little bit of um, what's the word melancholy in us for that person that we have lost or for for that something that we have lost in our lives. But always have faith in our King. Praise Him in the high times and praise Him in the low times. Give thanks to our precious Lord God Almighty for everything that He has given you. At Donald's funeral, the night before his funeral, the Lord was preparing me for what I was going to say. And I said it at his funeral. I won't call it a funeral. I don't know what you call it when they're cremated. It's, just, it's a memorial service for, the, for that person. But, um, he got me through the most difficult time in my life. He got me through it. He is God Almighty. He is all powerful. He is all loving. He is all gentle. He is all kind. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I did not go through much much tears I was also well I was questioning everything when he passed I was questioning everything about this ministry and it was a difficult time and there were times when I couldn't listen to some different songs songs that I loved to sing to my Lord before it happened I couldn't listen to him again for a long time But he told me something one time. It's like, um, I'll give you an example. I was um, asked to do a favor for my daughter. And that favor was taking care of her friend's animals. Well, the path, you know, the, the driving path to get there brought back 
just a flood of memories in that drive. Because that was the house that she used to live in that me and Donald visited. It also had certain things on the way. that me and Donald had went to together. And I prayed about it. Because there was another way I could have taken. I prayed for King Yeshua to get me through that. And he told me that the more that I went down that particular path, the stronger I would become. Kind of like rubbing a, you know, the soreness of your leg when your muscles hurt or something and you keep rubbing them and rubbing them and then it goes starts going away. So that, um, and he lets you cry. He lets you cry to get it out of your system. But he keeps it in control. He keeps it in check. He never allowed me to, I prayed that he would not let me lose my mind. because I didn't know what I was going to feel or think. After he died, his word says, the Lord is my stay. The Lord is my refuge and my strength. The Lord is my shield and my buckler. The Lord is my hiding place. And oh, how I hid in him. Literally, underneath my cover, as I knelt down beside my bed, with my cover over my head, I literally hidden him. And he would give me a vision of him lifting up the cover, peeking in at me. That's how wonderful he is. He lets you go through things in this life. But Nothing can compare to the glory that is waiting for us who belong to him. Do I blame God for Donald dying and not being here right now with me? No. Everyone has a designated life purpose by God Almighty. He is our creator. And there is a reason, however painful it may be, why things happen in your life. So this is what um, God wanted me to talk to to talk about to you my friend to anyone who might be hearing this who is going through grief let King Yeshua take you by your hand I know it would be so easy to say why God 
Why did this happen to me, God? Why am I alone, God? Don't rebuke it in the mighty name of Yeshua. Don't go down that road. He gives you joy. Act on that joy. When you feel these thoughts coming into your head, rebuke them immediately. Don't let them settle in your heart. Don't let them get a grip. Don't let them get their tentacles into your heart. That is to straight from the enemy. Kick them out in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Kick them out. He gives me a vision. Quite often, whenever I rebuke the devil and all the powers of the enemy, in King Yeshua's mighty name. He shows me literally. He kicks them. Away from me. Do that my friend. Do not let these. Vain imaginations. Exalt themselves. Against God Almighty. It's straight from the enemy. God will take care of you, not the way you think. And one of Father's messages, I can't remember if it was this year or last year, but he had written that if he takes everything away from us, stripped bare would we curse our God or would we love him that's what you need to ask yourself whatever happens to you in your life are you going to hold on to the him of King Yeshua's garment and not let your king go or are you going to slip into oblivion that's not really oblivion if you belong to him he'll let you go through things he'll let you learn a lesson out of it but he'll bring you back to him in his timing when he knows you're ready. So praise him. Praise him for everything that you have. Praise him for the time that he gave you with your loved one. Glorify the Father. Thank the Father for that loved one's life that you shared and when the enemy comes at you with regrets telling you why did you do that why didn't you do it this way rebuke him out of your life in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach and he King Yeshua kicks him away from you in this life we have trials and we have tests did I ever think that Donald would pass away mm -mm. I mean in this young stage he would have been 50 this um, past September 20 six 
that's considered young these days. Did I think we were going to grow old together? Mm -hmm. Or as long as, as long as, um, before the rapture happens or, you know, God's wrath happens. I never thought that would happen. But I will say that I am getting closer so much closer to my king. It's just me and him. Think of it like that. Just you and your king. You're drawing nigher and nigher and nigher to him. And that's what he wants. And that's what you want deep down if you belong to him. You want to be as close to him as you can be. It is. So very hard to live in this fallen world. But another thing that helped me is knowing, knowing that where Donald is, he's celebrating, he's no longer in any pain, he's no longer having any strife, he's no longer having to deal with this fallen world. He's in the mighty presence of our God. Every moment, I don't know. But I know he's with him. That's another thing that helps me get through. And he is your strength. You can't rely on anyone else through this time. You can't rely on your mother, father, sister, brother, aunt, your, your person that's in your family. Yes, they can be a little helpful, but you cannot rely on anyone except God Almighty to help get you through this. Rebuke the thoughts that question God, that resent God. Rebuke them, and He will help you get through this. And He will bring you even closer and closer to Him. He truly will trust capital T capital R capital U capital S capital T exclamation exclamation all the way through trust King Yeshua to get you through but you must say here I am And I will not let you go, my king. I will not let you go out of my life. Never. I love you with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength. You are my joy, my happiness, my contentment, my peace. Trust in the Lord your God. 
your Savior King. He loves you and He feels every bit of your pain. There's nothing that we can go through. And this is another thing. God the Father lost His Son. He had to see Him suffer. When the Roman soldiers were torturing Him, His Word says He was, he was so marred you couldn't even tell what He looked like. Think about what God, our perfect Father, went through seeing His Son go through that. And His Son died. God the Father lost His Son. He gave His Son for me so I can have eternal life with Him. When I was praying, while Donald was sick, I would pray that, and oh how that helped me to say, Father, I know that you have lost your son and that you had to see your son suffer. I am going through nothing what you went through. He had to see his son go through taking upon the world's sins and being rejected and being beaten and tormented, being shamefully treated. He took on our shame, our humiliation. There is nothing that we can go through that God does not understand what we're going through. And God the Father lost His Son. So let us remember that. There is nothing uh, he allows us to go through that isn't common to man. That's somewhere else in his word. We all go through things in this life. And it's not going to be the exact same things, but it is dealing with grief with the loss of loved ones. It might be dealing with your children. You know, doing it out of the will of God. It might be your parents. It could be anything that we all go through difficulties, times of trouble, times of grief in our lives. To everyone is appointed to die. Some earlier than others. So this, uh, this video is to all those who might be grieving. This is where the Holy Spirit wanted me to go. I had um, kind of had this on my mind. I guess that's what he wanted me to. He was gearing me up for this.
but know how much God loves us, that he gave his only begotten son, so that we will not perish, but have eternal life, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When you feel like you don't even have the strength to lift, to lift that shield of faith, do it anyways. Because that can literally help you. I remember one time I was just so distraught and in, pr in prayer. And I was saying I was so weak. Lord, you're going to have to be my strength because I am too weak to do anything. And he had me just lift up my shield of faith. Which is incredibly hard to do when you're in that state of mind. But when I did it, when I listened to my king, I felt his peace. He's right there for you. Grab him. Don't let him go. Please don't blame him. Don't blame God. He is your best friend. And he's right there for you. And he will get you through. Trust him with everything in you. If it helps you say the scriptures over and over again that speak to you. Because it, his word is King Yeshua. Say the scriptures. Thank the Father for letting you dwell in the secret place of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the of Almighty. Thank the Father for letting the Lord be your stay. Thank the Father for enlarging your steps so you might not slip. Thank the Father for lighting your candle and enlightening your darkness. Thank the Father for his perfect Son. Who sits, who sits on his right hand. Who is your all in all? Who is your best friend? Closer than a brother. Who tells all his children to come to him, lay everything at his feet. Lay everything at his feet. Take upon his easy yoke and his light burden and lay that burden of grief that just is so heavy upon you. Lay it down at his feet as much as you need to. Chip away at it if you need to. Because I know how hard it is not to pick it back up again. Pray his promises to you and that strengthens you. Know that he is right there with you, that he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never lie to you. He will never deceive you. He wants to be there to help you through your grief. He knows what you're going through, my friend. He knows exactly 
what you are going through. Did he not weep when his friend Lazarus died, even though he knew he was about to raise him from the dead? He cares about us. He is a person and he's God. Also, it helps to just know that you're reading his letters and read that, that he spoke those very words. That's helped me a lot in the past. Say, Lord, I just need to read your words. Nothing else in your Bible but what you actually spoke. It helps me. You can say anything to him. He's waiting. He's waiting for you to say, King Yeshua, I cannot do this on my own. I need you. That's what he wants to hear. King Yeshua, I love you with everything in me. King Yeshua, I trust you with everything in me. Let him lead you. Acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he will direct thy path. In the scripture before that, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into your own understanding. Trust him. Just trust him. He knows what to do. He knows exactly what you need. Just trust him. Okay. I had um, other scriptures in mind, other things to talk about in mind, but this is what God wanted me to talk about. And I hope, I pray, it helps somebody. I pray that that beautiful lady that wrote the comment might hear this and not just listen to the, um, not just read the transcript. I pray that she hears this. Sometimes it takes me a while to answer comments. King Yeshua doesn't have me answer all comments. He does like for my brothers and sisters to answer other people. We are all the bride. We are all one body. And um, if there are if there are comments on there that does not agree with what King Yeshua wants to be said, I pray about it, and I probably will hide those users' comments and pray for that person. So. Um, this was quite a, uh, an emotional video for me as well. While I was in prayer before the video, King Yeshua said he would get me through it. He always gets you through it. Yes, there is pain. 
that he always gets you through when you allow him to. When you trust him. There is no other person you can trust. That can help you. That loves you ever so much other than King Yeshua. No other person can give you the hope if you have not King Yeshua in your life you have no hope. If I had not King Yeshua in my life when Donald was sick and when he died I, I, w I wouldn't even be here right now. I would probably be crawled under a rock somewhere. But I have him. I had him. Praise God. Praise Jehovah Elohim. Praise King Yeshua. I had him. And he had me. Father God, Elohim, by the power of your beautiful Holy Spirit, I pray that I have said what the Holy Spirit wanted me to say. I pray that this video helps whoever you need it to help. It was kind of painful, but I knew that King Yeshua would get me through, for I have his perfect peace upon me his perfect presence upon me his perfect hand upon my life and oh how I love him with everything within me the Lord is my strength and my song I will call upon the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. I love you, my glorious God. Jehovah Elohim Adonai. You are my entire life, focus, every thought. And thank you, Papa for bringing me ever so close or much to your son. Through everything that's happened in my life, I thank you because I know you have perfect reasons. Your perfect will be done in my life, Papa. Your word says, count it all joy when we go through diverse temptations. I pray that I can count it as all joy. I pray that who's listening can count it as all joy. As King Yeshua heals their hearts. As he has been healing mine. Praise be to the mighty Lamb of God, my perfect Savior, God and King, more than my best friend, so much more than my best friend. I 
I love you so much. You are my banner, Jehovah Nisi. Please let me shine for you, my King. And you are my provider, Jehovah Jireh. And you are my peace, Jehovah Shalom. You are your children's everything. And I praise your holy and mighty and glorious name from now and forever. Your praise will be upon my lips. I will fall upon my knees to you in complete subjection, submission, subservience. And I will lift your name upon the highest of the high and exalt you. My glorious God, Jehovah, Yahweh, Almighty. I glorify your holy and mighty name. And I pray that everyone who's looking at this video <clears throat> that you will bless them. That you will put your perfect peace upon them through your perfect Son. That you will hedge them in under your mighty wings and protect them. I pray for whatever situation they're going through, that if their heart's broken, Papa, that you may heal their hearts with your perfect Son, who is the heart healer. I love you so much. And King Yeshua's powerful name. Amen and amen. All right. The um, the scriptures that I had all planned out was about being saved by King Yeshua, but you'll see them in the in the transcript because what I talked about is what the Holy Spirit wanted me to talk about completely different direction um, as many of the times when I'm in prayer I get a, an idea some scriptures go through my mind on what he might want me to talk about but he's training me I believe to on the spot what he wants me to say I kind of had an idea. It's hard to explain. Because like I said, King Yeshua said that he would get me through this. And um, I guess I did talk about because he wanted me to address the uh, beautiful sister's comment. So this time, I'm in prayer a lot. So He gives me lots of ideas sometimes. I probably don't even know what I'm saying right now. Stay in prayer. Commune with our God all the time. 
you never know what he's going to give you as a gift. Every good gift comes from the Father of Lights. Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of Lights, in whom is no variation and no shadow of turning. Just let God lead you and trust Him. Let's go to Numbers. Chapter 6, excuse me, verses 22 to 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. I would like to say, if you do not know our perfect Savior, if you have not been saved by King Yeshua, by accepting his free gift, please invite him into your heart. Fall in love with our perfect Savior. Go to Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. Confess King Yeshua with your mouth and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart you believe unto righteousness and with the mouth you confess unto salvation. And read all of chapter 10. But please invite him into your heart. You'll never, never regret it, my friend. King Yeshua is the one and only. He's the one and only true God that died for you. That died for your sins. And when you come to him and admit your sins, confess that you're a wretched sinner, just like Papa says in his message. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When you invite in King Yeshua into your heart, you became born again. And read about that in John chapter 3. about being born again. If you are not born again, you cannot um, go into the kingdom of God. So invite King Yeshua into your heart. Allow him to dwell in your heart. He will come in and you will never be the same again for the good. And when you invite him in, get baptized. Get water baptized. Confess him in front of everybody. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, be baptized. Go down into the water, your old man dying to yourself, dying to sins, come out of the water, your new man, and your new walk in King Yeshua HaMashiach. Read his word. His word tells you how to live for God. And just follow your king. He loves you. He loves everyone that has lived, is living, and will live because He's our Creator. Fall in love with Him. It's so easy to fall in love 
with King Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ, our wonderful Savior and Redeemer. When we are saved, we are kept by the power of God until the day of redemption. Amen and hallelujah. Friends, I'm going to close. Please trust King Yeshua HaMashiach. Trust in Him completely. Deny your flesh and pick up your cross and follow Him every day. Pray, 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 pray. Repent, 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 repent. Praise and worship and love our mighty Jehovah God, Elohim. And King Yeshua's holy and mighty and glorious name. Baruch Hashem Adonai. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and Shalom.